Hello, my lovelies. I thought I would pop back in to show you my kit for uh, watercolours and drawing, etc. that I take away with me when I go away. Um, all fitted quite neatly into this um, Kipling pencil case. So without further ado, I will go through and tell you what is in my art kit. Okay, so we open it up. What I decided to do, instead of taking my uh, super posh pencils with me, because things happen, don't they? So if I um, damaged my posh pencils, I would not be very happy, because especially when they cost as much as they do. So what I have got is some um, chameleon pencils that I got in a kit once. And I've got five of those and they're double-ended, so that means I've got 10 colours there. I have a kit, uh, some Spectrum Noir coloristas, which I found in my um, one of my pencil cases, and I thought they do quite nicely. And then over here, another kit set, um, which was from, I think it's the Squaller Box. And there are three aquarellable pencils there. So they're quite handy to have. So that's the one side. Oh, on the other side, um, <laughs> as you know, I'm quite into my ballpoint pen art at the minute, so I thought I would take a set of ballpoint pens. These are the Statler ones. Um, they don't have a yellow in the Statler ones, so this is a Schneider, and that is a yellow ballpoint pen, so that fits in there. I've got a Derwent Graphic 2B pencil. I have got a mechanical pencil, which is a 0.5, and I've got one of my mono erasers in there just to fill up a little gap at the end. Over into the main body of the pencil case, we have my summer palette, the one that I showed you I was making last time. So I've got a little card in the front there, but that's all my summer palette in there. And in the middle of there, I've got my little pop out Van Gogh brush, which fits in there perfectly. It is a size six, which is probably just a little bit smaller than I'm used to. I can get these things back in, there we go. No, 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 make sure it's all pointy. Um, so that goes in there. That fits neatly into the middle part of my palette, which is great. That's the first thing we've got. The next thing I've got are some pre-painted watercolour pages that I can just uh, play around. I think there's about seven of those, so enough for one a day if I wanted to do, if I'm going away for that long, who knows? But just plenty of those in there, just some pre-painted watercolour cards that are probably about, I don't know, A6 size, A7, I don't know, A6 probably. So they, all go in that little plastic bag there. Bit of white, quite nice in there. The next thing I've got in here is my uh, Pentel Micro Correct, which is a nice little white for details. It's a good thing to use the white. Um, one of those shaky, shaky, pressy, pressy ones. I have got a little Pritt stick. <laughs> had to have one with a vampire on the front. Uh, yeah, uh, it's one of the colour ones, but the colour fades. It's just a nice size to fit in there. I've got a kneadable eraser, because they're always handy to have. I've got my little mono eraser. Obviously, I'm going, going to town on the erasers, but you know, always handy. This is a handy trick, <laughs> tip, trip, handy tip. So basically what you've got is like a, an old sports sock or a new sports sock. And you put it on your wrist and when you come to, I don't know, uh, dry off your brush, you can just wipe it on there instead of having tissues and things and pieces of kitchen roll. And these are washable as well. If you don't want to put it on your wrist, you could just lay it on the side to use. So that's quite a handy little thing to have. Also, if you need to hold things together, that hold things together quite well. This one's shedding a bit because it's a brand new one. <laughs> In here, I have a little tiny pot of white gouache. 
mixing purposes I have got my um, look at this little bits of toweling everywhere uh, this is my washi tape for taping down areas to paint I've got a mini mister I've got some bigger ones of these but this fitted in here quite nicely and it's easy to refill so that's going in there I have got um, a couple of ink and pens so I've got a 0.8 and a point um, 0.8 and 0.3 I've got my compass because I do like to draw circles for different things. I have got another mono zero eraser. I have got a small ruler. It fits in there quite nicely. Then you get on to, I have to have, I have, to have some gold people. So um, this is my little um, tube of gouache. This is the best gold gouache I have ever used. It's a Holbein one. It's a G644. It's brilliant gold and it's not an acrylic gouache. It is an actual ordinary gouache gouache uh, but it's beautiful and it's great just for adding small details. So that's my little bit of glitz that's going in. I have my Viviva watercolour sheets. These are fabulous to take away. Even if I didn't have my little summer palette, I could take these when I still got plenty of colors to choose from. And don't be fooled by the color that they are on there. They're very vibrant, very beautiful, and well, they fit in there. So I'm gonna take them with me, aren't I? I've got um, a Faber-Castell pencil sharpener. I'm taking this one because it's got a bigger pencil sharpening area for the larger pencils i think it's these these are a bit thicker than usual so they don't fit in my other one so i'm being extra and taking two i'm taking the tagal one as well which is fabulous this is um one of those pencil sharpeners that has uh, different lead sizes so you can make it really nice and pointy uh, the higher up the number goes, the more pointy and sharp your pencil is. So that goes in there. And it also has a little closing area off there. So when you sharpen, you can keep your sharpeners in there and it empties out there. Right, we're getting to the bottom. I have a little smudge stick, which I take with me. Um, there's another name for these. <laughs> I can't remember it. But there is another name for it it'll come to me soon and i'll shout it at you um in this bag to keep them nice and neat i've got a little uh, clairefontaine notebook which has got nice quite thick pages it's 160 g so that's not too bad for sketching and ballpoint pen it's nice and smooth for a ballpoint pen as well that's why that's going and then a couple of postcard books i don't think they're actually full i think these are the ones i used when i was doing um a challenge this earlier this year so they're coming with me so yes all these lovely things i can fit into this pencil case and i know i've got something that i can be getting on with if I'm away, if we go away for a few days or whatever. So yeah. The next thing I have, which I would possibly take with me, obviously I could take that. And if I just had that, that would be amazing. But the other thing I quite like to have is my this case I made quite a while back. And it fits in two of my Leuchtturm books. Um, and in here... I have my Leuchtturm sketchbook, which is the one with the thicker paper. And, there. and I have my bullet journal, which fits in there quite nicely with a little pen on the side if I need it. And those two, although a little bit heavier, fit quite nicely in my little case. bit of a squeeze but they do fit in there quite well she says we don't get the side bit down so they fit in there and they're not going to move around and they won't well protected and I have a little 
elastic band that goes over there to keep those together. So again, a nice little set that I can take with me when I go away. Another little thing that I'm going to take with me are these. No, I haven't got a dog. <laughs> but basically what they are, are pop out water bowls, which are going to be great um, for my water uh, when I'm doing some watercolouring. Uh, I could take both of them if I wanted to, um, or just one. But they're both flat packs, so they they also fit in quite nicely. And they've got these little carabiner things that I can clip onto bags if I needed to put them on the outside of a bag. So that's my little travel art kit um, that I will be taking out with me on day trips out. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this. Uh, if you want to see me putting together the palette that I was uh, showing you in my kit that was on the last video that I did so pop along and have a look at that. I have also um, put together some more palettes which I will show you probably in the next video. Um, yeah I went I went to town a little bit <laughs> so I thought I would create myself um, along with the summer palette I did myself um, an autumn um, spring and winter palette and then I did a couple more as well but I'll leave that for another time so if you're interested and you'd like to see those don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you click on the bell that will let you know when I upload any other videos. Have a fabulous week I hope the weather is lovely where you are and you are enjoying um, the summertime in the UK. I know we have uh, varied weather, <laughs> so hopefully wherever you are, you're having a fabulous time. Take care and see you next video.